I'm going to make some remarks about what we do, but before I do that, I want to make a comment uh, to thank the three percenters, Eric Parker and the whole group. Do you realize they're here to talk to us about history? And history is being taken out of our schools. And the books that they're giving the students, many of them are rewritten, revised, politically correct. At Northwest Liberty Academy, we are a politically correct free zone. And we hope that that's the case today because I'm going to speak my mind and my heart. That it's important that we remember our history. And so much of it is being taken away from us and rewritten. So I appreciate the three percenters and all that they do to help remind us of the men who stood for us. I'd also like to make a comment about our elected officials. We have some here today who understand what it means to uphold the Constitution. And hopefully you'll hear from them today. We are blessed. Would please take a minute. If you haven't seen them, I know that we have Representative Boyle and Representative Moon and Zitto and our Lieutenant Governor, Janice McGeehan. We're blessed to have her here too. And if there are any others, I hope, I'm, I'm sorry I missed you, but I hope you folks will take the time to thank them because they work very hard to stand on our Constitution. Um, I'm just going to say a couple minutes, uh, a couple things about the Liberty Academy, and then I'm going to read something to you from our friend Terry Shepard. I'm going to read it if it doesn't blow away. First of all, the gentleman to my right is Israel Schieber. He is, are you 16 now? 16 years old. He's been with Liberty Academy since day one. He's graduated from high school, getting ready to graduate from college. I wanted him to stand here both as a Northwest Liberty Academy student, but also as a millennial. I'm tired of hearing that millennials are this, that, and the other. The, the students that we work with are not entitled. Some of them work two and three jobs, which I know this young man has done, so that they can come to Liberty Academy. Not only that, but they'll, they'll do public speaking whenever you ask them to. They're passionate, passionate about their liberty, and they're informed, and they're articulate, and we are blessed to have them. So we hope that we'll have more that will come, and that you folks will start your own academies and get, get students to come. Now more than ever, it's important to realize what a blessing we have in the liberty that's been given to us by God. So the Liberty Academy, the Northwest Liberty Academy, was founded on the principles of a free society and free enterprise. We start with a premise, with the understanding that our founders acknowledged that our inalienable rights to life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness and to have property, they're all unalienable, inalienable, non-transferable. We get our inalienable rights from God, not government. <laughs> to that end, uh, we do economic seminars throughout the state, one-day economic seminars. We do a children's business fair every year, and we'll come into your community if you want to learn how to do it, where we have children 5 through 14 make their own products and sell them, and there's nothing sweeter than hearing a little six-year-old telling you that her, her cupcakes are gluten-free. <laughs> they do pretty well, and they learn about the principles of the free market system. When we have our um, symposium, which will be held June 19th through the 22nd at NNU in Nampa, we have speakers come in that talk to the students about economics, about the proper role of government, some of the representatives here that we've mentioned have spoken or will be speaking. Um, we have uh, Mark Herr, many of you know him, will be teaching levels one and two to the students. By the way, our students that come, they're not all high school and college. We have from junior high through, well, we say from 12 to 112. How many of you remember Lenore Barrett? Does anybody remember Representative Barrett? 
She's an older lady that uh, served for many years, and when we told her that they were 12 to 112, she said, are you really strict on that? And I said, well, with a note from your doctor, we'll let anyone over 112 come. <laughs> so we, we invite you to come out and hear what we have to teach. Uh, the, our information is online. We have flyers, and also we want you to know that we never turn anyone away for lack of funds. We have as many adults now as we've ever had that come with their students. We have families that come, and we're very, um, very blessed to know that there are parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and sponsors who come to make sure that their children are being taught the things that they believe. We want to support the family. We want to support our Constitution. And we want to unabashedly say that we know that our rights come from God and not government, and that we respect government as long as it understands its proper role. Thank you very much. Oh, I, I want to read. Thank you. I want to read these words from Terry Shepard. For those of you who don't know Terry, um, we've done a little um, a little interview with him. In fact, uh, Israel and I interviewed him before he was bedridden, and he's never ever felt sorry for himself. He's always worked passionately for liberty. And some of us didn't know it, but some of the time that he was working so hard for it, he was homeless and sleeping in his car. You will not find a more dedicated patriot than Terry Shepard, and we're very blessed to know him. He wanted us to share these words with you. Providence comes before country. The scriptures and history shows us that unless the house is built by the Lord, it will fall. This is true of our families, our nations, and its institutions. Those ancient principles that Jefferson said were the roots of our republic have brought us life, liberty, and great prosperity. Those principles, virtues, and biblical dictates have brought America to a blessed nation and a blessing to the world. The enemy inside the gates seeks to replace those teachings with all forms of systems that have failed in the past, removing the cornerstone of providence. The sacrifices of our colonial fathers is being forgotten and replaced with godless teachings of Marxism and feudism, while our Christian heritage is under attack by a God unknown, by our fathers. It is our duty to ourselves and to our posterity Remember the words on the plaque of Idaho's Liberty Tree, which, by the way, we would not have had if it were not for Terry Shepard's work. The, the words on the plaque read, Tree of being, roots of been, branches of to be. We weave the present from ancestors past toward our children's future free. Thank you and God bless you.